<laughs> yeah, man, there's some bad judging, right? There's so some of those fights were like, what in the fuck are you guys watching? Yeah. Yeah. To get but, back to the patty fight. I'm like, yeah, I forget, we're in, yeah. I'm getting tagged in all the videos with you and her like, we're looking at we're each other. We're both looking at each other. I said to you yeah. right before, I go, he got it. I go, Jared got him. Yeah. And we both agreed. And then I looked at you like, what the fuck? That didn't make any sense. I thought it was two to one. Yeah, for sure. And then I'm rewatching it. I'm like, I'll go back yeah, and I'll rewatch it. it. And I'm sitting there like, yeah. I still give it to Jared. And it's like, yeah. no bias in involved. Obviously, there may be, but I'm like, but I just objective. Just stats. Yeah. Like, just you're stats. looking at the stats. He outstruck him 21 to like 16 in the first round, and he took him down, and all the judges gave still the first round to Patty. And I'm like, it didn't make how? any sense. And he caught him clean with that left hook. He was landing that left hook on a regular basis. All day. Very yeah. clean. Yeah. Yeah, that, he got fucked, and that's unfortunate. You know, I don't like when someone gets by just because they're famous and they have this big personality and, and everybody loves them. The problem with that is people are going to be rooting against him now in the next fight. And so yeah. now he's going to go in there against someone, and maybe he's going to go in against someone who's on another level, like one more level up, and he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, and for a guy like him, I just don't think that he really wants it that bad. If you're going out of camp and you're getting up to 200 pounds, 210, and mm. you're getting that big, you're not in the training room. Uh, for me, I'm in the packs room all day. I don't care if I have a fight or not a fight. And it's just building skills in between fights. Him, I'm looking at it. I was watching the fight for Jared because uh, I knew I was going to be in his corner. So I'm watching tape and I'm like, he's going to be the same exact fighter. That left hook's going to land all day. His coach, very smart, was like, that left hook, that left hook, that left mm. hook. And it landed the whole fight because he didn't evolve from his second fight, his third fight, his first fight. Because, yeah, someone said that too that his fights are like fat camps. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're really not like training camps where you're going over skills as much as he's just, he's got very good skills. Yeah. But now he's just trying to lose weight. Yeah, you just he gotta so lose it. Big. He gets so big, his big pie face. <laughs> and I, I mean, you can make a show about it yeah. and like play that whole game, like it's like it's a fad for you. But like in general, it's not good for your health. Right. You, and if you're training with that much extra weight on you, that's when little injuries happen. And mm -hmm. he's about to, he's going into surgery now, so I'm wondering if that played a part into it. What's he going to surgery for? I don't know. They said he's not going to be on the March card because he has surgery. The oh, London no card. Oh shit. Yeah. So what is they, it? see what the uh, Patty Pimblett is getting surgery on. He's a fun dude though, man. His fucking personality and the way he. Did Dances when he gets inside the octagon and everything. It's very fun, but sometimes ankle surgery. Oh. But sometimes you can be more famous than you are good. Yeah. And that's a real problem when you run up against a Justin Gaethje or some fucking assassin. Yeah. You know? And that's what I feel like. He has to level up from Jared. So yeah. Who, leveling up from Jared, I think, is probably like top 15. Oh, he had a partial tear of his ligaments in his ankle. Hmm. Or something like that. It says a grade two injury to the ankle rehabilitation pemblets. Doctor disagree with the UFC lightweight. Continues to deal with swelling and soreness more than a month removed from his most recent fight. I wonder if he looked into stem cells at all. Uh, well, who knows? Either way, he's getting surgery. Yeah. It's a, well, you know, I hope he heals up. But I hope he realizes that. I mean, he's openly talked about having an eating disorder. Yeah. You know, and some guys do get that when they cut a ton of weight. And it's, it really fucks with them. And you always have that mentality. Like, when you're in camp and it's about to be, like, two or three weeks out and you feel so good because you're eating healthy for yeah. six to eight weeks and if like your body feels good your energy feels good and i always tell myself like after this fight i'm not eating bad i'm not gonna go on any bad binges or anything but it's like right after you win you're like i don't care no more like i'm eating whatever <laughs> i want and, yeah you're like i'll make up for it but it only has to be it for me it's i only give myself a week if you go uh, past one week yeah you go to two to three to four weeks that and a week must be glorious though <laughs> man it's like heaven I, and especially if you're winning and then for me i was like yeah. i was flying back from dubai uh, from Abu Dhabi, and I was like, I'm upgrading the uh, business class. I'm gonna do business class. I got me like a big bag of M&Ms. I'm just sitting there front row. My nice. brother was able to sneak up there with me uh, in business class. It was like empty seats, and they, like they never asked him. So he sat up there the whole time with me. So me and my coach are just sitting up there eating M&Ms. Yeah. Oh, let me get some French toast. Let me get this. So <laughs> it was like, it was what's, like the best ride ever. What's your binge food? The one binge food that you like to go to after a fight? I love nachos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a nacho guy. I'm chips and cheese. Like when mm. I'm in Vegas, one time I was on the same. Me and Anthony Pettis, 
we were uh, training together, and we both won that on a card together. And he comes up to me. He's like, hey, uh, we're going to go to the, the club at, uh, I, forget, I don't know what even name of the club was. And he was like, all right, we're going to get a table over there. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go get uh, Nacho Daddy. I'm going to go get some nachos. And he was like, <laughs> looked at me like I was such a loser. And my coach, my coach is like, bro, you're such a lame. And I was like, because I don't drink or party or anything. But my family's always at all the fights with me, so... My best time is celebrating with them, going to eat with them. So he's looking at me like, you're a lame man. And I was like, bro, let's go eat. And he's like, all right, man, let's go. Let's go together. So, Well, so you're probably fun. adding time to your career by not drinking. You're probably adding time to your career. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's Look, I, drinking's fun. There's a reason why people like to do it. There's a reason why bars are everywhere. It's fun. But the reality is it's fucking terrible for you. And if you're a professional athlete and you're in this world of – professional athleticism that has very little room for error which is what you're in i mean you're in the the, yeah. the the hardest fucking sport i think in the world and if you can maximize your recovery and maximize your health and maximize your vitality by not drinking alcohol i would you know i would tell people to do it i mean maybe a glass of wine here and there a little glass yeah. of whiskey no big deal but guys who get drunk Guys who like really like to party and drink, man, you are fucking chipping away at your health. Yeah. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of guys that do it, and then they'll come into the practice room on Monday or hungover or something. Oh, and you're get not really beat getting up. as much out of the session. No, and, and I you, tell, you like, get hurt. Yeah, and yeah. I've seen it happen to a lot of guys, and I tell them like, how bad do you want it? How serious do you want it? These younger fighters. Yeah. And I tell them like, it's not an easy road. Everybody always asks me for advice. How how do you get to the UFC? And I was like, there's no, there's no like easy road to the UFC. There's some people that will skyrocket right in there. Like you said, they're famous. Mm -hmm. They got a, a following behind them, and they're gonna blow up right away. Or there's guys that have to inch their way in. Guys and, like you, the grind. Yeah. You ground. You worked your way through contender after contender after yeah. contender. You've been grinding, dude. Yeah. I appreciate that though, man. That's a mentality that I really appreciate because it's hard to do. And no one has to tell you that. That's a yeah. hard. When you're not making these monumental leaps in terms of like public consciousness and being celebrated, you're steady up that fucking ladder. That's what you're doing. And that, to me, is some of the most impressive shit. Like that Sean Brady fight, that was a big fight, man. Yeah. That dude's a killer. He's a fucking killer, and you put it on him, man. You put it on him, and you pressure the shit out of him. That was a that was a big fight. It was a big fight. Yeah, that was one of those fights where obviously I wanted to fight upward. I thought that I I fought Luke, who was on a seven fight winning streak, and he was number five in the world. And I beat him, and then I beat Wonder Boy before that, who was number five. And then you're gonna offer me number eight, and I was sitting there like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, Chams, Hamza's still out there, Gilbert Burns is still out there. Give me those guys. And they just weren't pushing it. And they were like, well, we'll give you him. We'll give you Brady. And I was like, honestly, Why I don't do care. Why do you think they weren't? I mean, um, Gilbert, who's Gilbert fighting this weekend? He's fighting Magny. That's right. That's yeah. a good fight. But it's a good showcase for Gilbert in in, in, in Brazil. Brazil yeah. you know? and not, not that Magny's an easy fight. He's a very good fighter. 